What's up everyone? I'm very excited to give you the first episode of the year of MLB 23, the show roster predictions. I'm going to give you my predictions mostly on cards that I feel that are going to be going to go from silver to gold and gold to diamond. I don't think there's going to be too many new diamonds. I do think some diamonds may get upgraded this week, but I do think we're going to see a lot of cards being upgraded from if not quite to a diamond to a high gold from a gold or mid silvers to possibly gold or high silvers. Let's get into it. So we're going to start it out by going from our silvers to golds. We're going to start out with Matt Chapman, who's been absolutely tearing the cover off the ball for the Toronto Blue Jays. He's he's hitting at a 421, 484, 1203 clip, which is absolutely disgusting. Let's look a little more in depth against and see his splits. So you look at his splits, he's destroying left-handed pitching. He's destroying right-handed pitching too, but really left-handed pitching. Almost hitting at 500, 480, 519, 840 with a 1359 OPS and against right a 1084 OPS. Now the thing about Chapman is that he has fantastic defense and that's really what's keeping his overall at a 79 right now. His hitting attributes are not that great, especially in the contact department. Now, Chapman has been a diamond in the past, so I think they're going to give him a nice fat upgrade here. If we look at his his attributes, his, especially his contact attributes, those are going to have to go up quite a bit. Now, it is only the first update, so you're not going to see something absolutely crazy, but it wouldn't be so crazy to me if you see his contact get closer to 65 to 70 against both, especially against lefties. And his power against lefties is going to increase, and his power against righties may increase a little bit as well, since his OPS is very high against both. He's definitely going to go gold. It's how high gold he's going to get i invested in a bunch of him at about when he was about 800 going for 800 stubs now he's going for 12 so not so sure you want to jump in unless you think he's going to go to at least an 84 overall i would just wait jorge mateo is another defensive wizard who has a overall of a, of a silver 76 mainly just because of his defense and his speed well he's hitting and he's hitting a lot so far at the 1082 OPS. Not only is he hitting against righties, he's hitting against lefties. So he's actually hitting it pretty evenly here. A 1097 OPS to a 1073 OPS. He's hitting very, very well to go with that amazing defense and an amazing speed. And if you look at his attributes, they are abysmally low. And because his defense is so high, especially at a shortstop position where defense and speed is weighted higher, I expect him to go gold. I'd be shocked if he does not go gold. He might even go to like an 82 because he's hitting the cover off the ball. He has three dingers. He has four doubles, I'm pretty sure. His OPS is really, really high. His batting average is really, really high. His, his on-base percentage is a little low because he's not walking, but that's okay. No, no big deal here. He's got so much room to grow here. And because of all his defensive statistics, as attributes and as well as he's hitting so well right now I, I would be shocked if he does not turn into a gold Luis Arias has been hitting pretty much 500 <laughs> the majority of the year so far with 1173 OPS now he has been supercharged a bit he is relatively expensive I don't know if you want to invest in this card right now but he's going gold he's going gold for sure with <laughs> like look at these numbers they're video game numbers a 955 OPS against left and a 123, oh, a 1.233 against righties. And then we look at his attributes here. I don't think you're going to see crazy increases against right, but you are going to see some nice jumps against left. I would be shocked once again if this car did not become gold, considering that he was all-star last year, a batting champion last year, as well as uh, hitting lefties really, really well to start the year. Adley Rutschman, I've been investing in this guy for weeks now, weeks now. He's hit 344 with a 481 on base percentage, a 1055 OPS to go along with that platinum-esque defense. And we look at his splits here. His splits are great. The game has him as he does not hit lefties at all. And you look in here, he's hitting them about the same. About the same, a little more power against righties. But for the most part, very similar production in terms of getting on base. And we look at these things right here. He's in the 40s. Both of left. I expect both of those things to hit the 60s. Maybe low 60s. But that's, that would be a huge jump. That would be a 50% increase. His contact against right, his power against right, I expect those to increase a little as well. I think he's an easy diamond. It's possible he may even be upgraded to like an 86 overall. Who knows? Maybe even an 87. Catcher, they weight defense pretty high. So you never know. He very well may become a nice diamond piece. 
Sean Murphy, another defensive first catcher who's having a really good start to the year. Murphy splits are a little off. We'll, uh, we'll go over that in a second, but he does have a 1097 OPS overall. If you look at his left versus right splits, he has a 1413 OPS <laughs> against lefties right now. Absolutely killing it. And a 947 against righties is pretty good as well. His batting average is very low. On base is pretty decent, especially considering how low that batting average is, but has a nice slugging percentage and against lefties, an absolutely crazy slugging percentage. So I believe that Sean Murphy is going to get a nice, nice jump across these stats it's kind of weird that he has a plus 14 on both here and he's only going up one and overall considering how good his defensive stats are i think that's a that's a visual bug here i don't think that's accurate so i do think sean murphy if he doesn't get to a diamond which he may not because he's never been a diamond before and this goes on a three-year cycle they look at the stats for i still think he's going to become at least like an 83 overall you know making him poised to go diamond at, at a update that's coming up soon as well as he's still going to gain value in that card and quick sell value, considering that all the golds are different prices. And last but not least, Big Meat Pete. Pete Alonso has been absolutely killing the ball, especially against lefties. Like, absolutely torching lefties right now. We look, we look at this. A 13-28 OPS against left-handed pitching. He only has 25 at-bats, and he has four dingers. Absolutely crazy. Against righties, he's struggling a little bit. I mean, 860 is 860 OPS is nothing to nothing to uh, be ashamed of, for sure. But 1328? I'm expecting Pete's power numbers against righty to stay the same, but I am actually expecting against lefties to go up a bunch, especially the contact. I think it's going to get closer to 70. I also think the, the contact on the righty might get a little bit closer to 70 as well. You might even out those two contacts there. And I think the power is going to go up against both. And I think Pete is easily going to become a diamond and possibly even a higher diamond, like an 86 or an 87, considering that he has plus 12 here to two things, and he's an 87. So I think he's pretty much a lock to go diamond. I would once again be shocked if he does not go diamond. So I have a bunch of him as well. I'm going to go over pitching a little more quickly than the hitting because pitching is a little funny how SDS updates them. They're not always so quick to do them they usually especially early on they usually like to wait a cycle especially on players that are performing well above their career averages but we're going to go over some that i think i may that may get updated may get upgraded and some players that are already pretty expensive that might get upgraded as well let's talk about shohei really quickly otani i am pretty sure is going to be the highest overall after this update his pitching lights out the best start of his career in terms of pitching, his hitting is still really, really solid. I think an 866 OPS overall. Don't think they're going to touch him there. And I think his his pitching, they're going <laughs> to... I don't know if his strikeouts per nine is going to go up. It may. His hits per nine is definitely going to go up. His walks per nine, he, he is walking some batters. He is. But at the I think I'll take the, uh, the walks per nine going down a little bit with the hits per nine going up a little bit. So I think Otani may be upgraded to a 96 overall. Garrett Cole has been doing very well so far. He had an amazing start the other day, a, a two-hit, 10-strikeout performance. I do expect him to get upgraded as well. He's currently an 87 overall. I think he's going to be upgraded probably to an 88 or an 89. I do not think a 90. I think he's going to have to prove that for a little while longer to get back up to that status, but it's absolutely possible. Some other uh, little honorable mentions here. Marcus Stroman and Sonny Gray have nearly identical statistics right now, as well as identical attributes in the game. Both of these cards may be able to be upgraded to golds. They're both 76 overall right now. And they're very like the Mario cards, like I say, like they'll have a lot of stats in like the 70s and the 60s. So I do feel they have a chance to go gold. And if they're not going to go gold, they're probably going to get upgraded to like a 78 or a 79. They continue to do this in three weeks. They're going to be bumped up probably even to a higher gold than would an 80 overall, maybe an 81, 82, 83, something along those lines. See if there's so many other people in here what, that might be upgraded. Pablo Lopez, I'm pretty sure, is going to end up being a goal on the Twins. He's been having a really good start of the season so far. And if you look at his attributes, they're all very low, so I think he's going to get upgraded. I do believe Jesus Lazardo is going to be upgraded as well. Absolutely killing it. Nick Lodolo, I think, is a 76 overall, so I'm not so sure he's going to get upgraded to a goal, but he's probably going to take a nice little upgrade as well. All right, so that's the end of our predictions video. I want to know, do you agree with my predictions? Do you disagree with my predictions? Are there some maybe that you think I just kind of missed? I went glossed over. 
Remember, I was doing this to the ones that I think that are gonna also be able to make money off right now. There are other cards, like Brandon Nimmo, for example. I have like 57 Brandon Nimmos. I think he may go gold, but he's been a little up and down lately, and they're definitely not touching defense for a little bit. So, Brandon Nimmo, I'll put him in as a little honorable mention here because he's just one point off, and he's been having a really fantastic start of the year, especially in terms of walking, getting on base, getting timely, extra base hits, so maybe clutch will go up, runners in scoring position, all that, that good stuff. But I do want to know, what are some ones you think I missed? Put them in the comments section. I want to go maybe check out those stats and look at those players' attributes, dive in a little deeper. If you enjoyed this type of content, please do me a favor. Click that like button, leave me some comments, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.